right, so we mirror counted and skip counted tens. We did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, maybe 120 or 140 for extra credit. And now we go to fives, and we do this whether the children are 7 or 12 because we wish to really let the children have some conceptual confidence before we move on to the harder numbers, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So here we're looking at some fives. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we say to them, you know, you're used to seeing five as a symbol, which is perfectly fine, but this is really what a five looks like. That is five. So if we're gonna skip count five, we simply say five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And in the beginning, we might, we might want to even stop at 20, 20 and just say 5, 10, 15, 20. And then we might stop and say, you know, let's bring those 10s back. Let's bring those 10s back and see what we have here. Here we have two 10s. One, two, 10s. And here we have one, two, three, four. Fives. We have four fives. So here we have 10, 20, and here we have 5, 10, 15, 20. They're exactly the same. They look different, but they're exactly the same. And we can identify for the children how many fives fit into 20 by simply placing the blocks on top of the other blocks and showing them. Oh my gosh, they fit exactly. So how many fives fit into 20? They can count with their finger. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's even go further. How many fives fit into 10? One, two. So as we do the slide and glide, we're beginning the concept of number composition. And number decomposition is simply saying, if we take this 10 and we break it into two parts, if we split it in half, oh my gosh, we're talking about fractions now. You're only seven years old and we're talking about fractions. But if we take a 10 and we split it into two parts, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. So from skip counting, to slide and glide, to number composition, to number decomposition. Now we're looking at addition, multiplication, and division.